All right, what do you got there, Bo? Let's try something. Here's a little practical skill. Always learning. Okay, so you take a piece of cordage, a piece of rope. This is an easy knot. It's a good one that if you want to attach something to a tree and be able to walk away quick with a little slip knot. So we're going to do this. And I'm going to put this through here. And put this over here and pull this. Here we go. Easy as that. Just like that. So then when I want to leave, it's easy just to pull this and the knot's done. So one more time. Like this. I bring this in here. I bring this across. And I pull on this one. There's the knot. Nice solid knot. We don't have to use any more than we need. This can go to another tree. And if we want to walk away, this is all we got to do. And we're done. Now I guess you're going to see if I can do this. There you go. <laughs> How did I know this was going to happen? <laughs> Alright. Let's see. Hung up already. Alright, I think we did that. We'll loop here. Running that through. How's that? That looks pretty good. So simple and very effective. Why we learned this, Paul? What's the effectiveness of, of using this? We did talk a little bit about it earlier, and I, I wouldn't mind if you uh, you told everybody else what we're doing. Okay, so the reason for this is this is going to give us an anchor system. So we want to make sure that we can anchor one side of a line solid. So say right here we clean this out and we wanted to make this our shelter. Like shelters don't always have to be really big. We can turn this into a shelter that would last us for the next 24 hours, we'd have everything taken care of just by being right here. So what I like to do is, if it's going to be less than 24 hours, I'm looking at something that I touch here, I touch here. This is realistic for me. So I can take this, go around this little tree, which gives me a little bit of tension. Okay, like that. So now, if I was to sit here, I can clean this out on the ground like this and you could be sitting against this tree I can so try it sit up against the tree so if you were gonna sit there all night so now when you reach out with your arms if we take that garbage bag I'm talking about years ago uh, I was kind of budget restraint so I would get these little clear garbage bags and I could get them in the fall on sale so the nice thing about this is uh, because they're clear I can still see around me which I liked I didn't like to close off from the outside world but a little sheet of plastic like this all I have to do is block the wind or block the rain Right. And that's really all I want to want to get out of it. I'm not going to be there for four or five weeks. It's not going to be a, a semi-permanent kind of deal. It's probably going to be no more than 48 hours in the one spot. So a small little gar garbage bag is economical. The moment we put it on a 45, we could take snow from around here. We could mound the snow up in a horseshoe here. We can take this tarp. We can put the tarp down to the snow. So that way you could sit there. We could get a bunch of boughs and stuff to get you off the ground and make sure that you're not on the ground in the snow taking a lot of heat away from you and this would be a good size and right here you could have your little stove staying warm staying warm and that would last you 24 hours you'd have no issues so the nice thing about this little tree is it's easy it's close it doesn't take a lot of work a lot of time and the nice thing about having a little bit of spring on this is when you put your garbage bag here if the wind's blowing all night you're not actually ripping your garbage bag so a lot of times when you put a tarp up the wind starts blowing and you break all the grommets and this kind of stuff by doing it this way that's a little shock absorber for you. What I'm doing is I'm using this with a little bit of tension. Okay, so I'm going to wrap once. I'm going to wrap a second time. And I can even go around third time if I want. Nice and neat. I'm going to bring this through here. Like this. Again, overhand knot. And then I'm coming around it and I'm going over this. So now I pull this onto that branch. And that's going to keep that in position. That's not going to move on me. All the while I have a roof that I can use for my shelter. Now, as we were talking earlier, that if I found that I was sitting here and the rain and the wind was coming from this way, it's very easy for me to take this off. And how I would rig this is, this would get rigged lower down to here. So now the wind and the rain would come here, flow back this way, and it would keep the wind off me. If the wind was coming from back there, I could bring this up here, the rain would hit this and it would roll back this way behind me. So in fair weather, this is what I would do, like this, 
doing the overhand. Now I bring it up around and I go around the branch. Bring this down like this. Now it's solid. Now I can put my garbage bag on there and when I sit here, I can trape this out on a 45 degree angle. I can take the snow around here. I can bank the snow up in a horseshoe fashion. I can put this tarp down to the snow. I can sit here and with my little cup or my little stove or a consumable that I brought, it allows me to use something like this with a little stove. I don't have to make a fire because if I tried to make a fire in this small space, probably wouldn't work out very well. But having the little sterno can that I have or the little butane stove that I have as a consumable, that's the nice feature about having that. You can do this kind of system.